ce mai faceți? E una se ruptă de oboseală, nu știu ce față am. Cred că vedeți și voi. Uh -huh. E. Yep. Cu voi cum sunteți? În această zi minunată de miercuri. Oh. Bun venit la un nou episod din seria cu reacții. Chestii creepy, bine, nu sunt chiar horror, nu sunt chiar... Na, voi catalogați acum, după cum doriți. Astăzi voi reacționa tot împreună cu Dadu la cele mai creepy desene făcute de copii. Da. Nu știu cât de creepy sunt. Vă dați seama că au imaginație bogată. Imaginație bogată, dar nu bogată, între ghilimele. Da. Ei, anyway, și eu sunt foarte curioasă să văd ce fac acești copii. Ce fac copii în general, de fapt. El încă nu a făcut chestii de genul. <laughs> Nici nu vreau, cred. Anyway, să începem. Children's imaginations can run riot when they're left to draw, but sometimes they can go into some pretty disturbing places. Stay tuned to the end to see how one kid's drawing inspired an artist to recreate it. If this is the first time you've visited the things, then do us a favor and give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button. Today, we are going to show you 20 creepy kids drawings that will make you cringe. Who's your friend? One of the sweetest and most popular drawings a child can do is one of them and their friends. There's a certain charm and innocence to them. That's why we couldn't help but be rather unnerved by this next drawing. Are you ready to take a look at this picture and see what's so creepy about it? Okay, here you go. There's a child. We think that it might be a little girl and their best friend. But take another look and you'll see just what's so disturbing about it. If you look at the friend's tone and its features, then you might well think that this child's best friend is an alien. Finish it. Something that we learned while doing this is that the phenomenon of spooky, creepy, and unnerving children's drawings is not something that is confined to the English-speaking world. The next example is rather disturbing, and it comes from the northern European country of Finland. It's a drawing, or rather two drawings, that the artist did when they were just eight years old. The first one is of a bizarre demonic-looking being called Kamos, but the next one of a creature called Pyru is even creepier. The text next to it translates as he slash she lives inside of you. You surrender to him slash her with pleasure. He slash he is Satan. But that is wrong. Oh the God! Boy. A lot of the time, when we look at creepy kids' drawings, you can sometimes work out what the child is trying to draw. Of course, it may not have come out as they intended to, but there's often something there that can be explained with a bit of thought. But we are stumped when trying to work out what this next picture might mean. <laughs> there are figures of mommy, that makes sense, daddy, which also makes sense, and Julian, which too makes sense. However, there's something else that we couldn't work out, and that's away from the family. The dark image of someone or something called the taking boy? No matter how much we try to think, we can't work out what it might mean. Who loves mom? There is something really rather sweet about a child writing a letter to its parent. There is something about it that shows a touching innocence and sweet naivety combined with a message of unconditional love. And we are sure that when young Amanda's father got a note from his daughter, that's what he was expecting to see. But that isn't what he saw. Are you ready to take a look? Here we go. As you can see, a man. Oh my, Jimmy, saw a pretty camera. So what the fuck? Dently has green, and she left a rather shocking message. The note to her little drawing says, "I love mom better than you, Amanda." He must have been shocked. Life is a water slide. Who doesn't like going on a water slide? We certainly do. They're great fun. And for a kid, the experience of a water slide inspired this piece of creepy art. Here you are. It's a drawing. It appears to be inside some kind of card of a person going through a water slide and coming out as an elderly looking man with a walking stick. On it, the kid wrote, Life is like a water slide, where you die at the end. What makes oh us God. think that it was in a card is that near the end of the water slide, the kid has written, you are here. We really do wonder what the person who got this thought of it. Your teacher does what? 
Sometimes looking at one of these children's drawings is enough to creep us out and make us cringe. However, sometimes it's the captions that really unnerve us. And with this one, what we can only hope is a simple spelling error. The sort of mistake kids do all the time is what really disturbs us. As you can see, it's a drawing of one of the child's teachers. Her name is Miss Edwards, and she's explaining a sum in her head. However, the child has made a spelling mistake. It says that the kid likes it when she does math with us. All we can say is that we really, really hope that they meant math. Bella's family. One of the most common drawings that children do are those of their family. We know that we did it when we were little, and we reckon that you will have done it too. And that's what little Bella did. However, the picture tells us rather more about her family than we would have thought they would have liked us to know. There's her brother Logan, the family dog Sam, and her parents. However, Bella seems to have told us that most of the family are <laughs> <in> technology. <laughs> Logan is shown holding a DS game system, her dad has got a remote control, and best or worst of all, her mother's head is an Apple laptop. <laughs> this time, when we were kids, one of the things our teachers liked to get us to do was to draw pictures about what we had been up to. That's what we think one child's teacher did, but we don't think they were ready for what their pupil came up with. It looks like a normal picture with a child, their parents, and their cat. But look at the figure wearing a top hat on the right of the drawing. And read the caption. Today, I had a fun time with mom and dad and the cat. Even the demon left us alone this time. There are so many questions to ask about this, but the main one is, what do they mean this time? Creepy haircutting. Sometimes kids have no idea uh. what they are doing. We mean that in a nice way, of course. But with this next picture, we really hope that the child who drew it had no idea what they were doing. Because if they did, then this is seriously creepy. This kid drew a drawing of a girl who sat next to them in class. The kid thought that the girl was pretty. That would be kind of sweet, but not what they said they were doing. They said that because the girl who sat next to them was pretty. They liked to collect her hair. And they drew a picture of them using scissors to cut her hair off. Disturbing or what? A misspelled Christmas wish. Ew. Something that we know as adults is that it is very important to get your spelling right. Otherwise, you run the risk of either looking foolish or perhaps worse, have what you've written down misinterpreted. That might well have been what happened to one child who wanted to create a sweet and lovely Christmas card. We both think and hope that they wanted to write I love Santa in her festive holiday message, but Satan. they made a crucial mistake. <laughs> Instead of writing I love Santa, the kid ended up writing I love Satan instead. <laughs> well, at least we hope that they just made a mistake. <laughs> Otherwise, we suspect they may have been naughty rather than nice that year. Dancing on mommy's grave. It is a terrible, terrible thing to lose a parent. It must be even more terrible to lose a parent as a young child. However, for one young artist, it doesn't seem to have been that traumatic of an experience. And that is what makes this picture so creepy. There is a drawing of a child. We aren't sure if it's a boy or a girl with their father. They both have smiles on their faces and they're dancing next to a tombstone marked mom. The caption is, me plus dad dance on mommy's grave. What? The thing that gives this drawing the added cringe factor is in the top left corner. Even the sun is smiling. Crazy driver. We all know that some substances are bad. They make people who take them do crazy, bad, and foolish things. What is encouraging is that one young kid got the message and wanted to share it with people. But when you look at this picture, you realize that the message is probably the only thing about it that wasn't a bit disturbing. It's of a man driving a car and about to run someone over. The victim is shouting, help, help. The picture's caption describes the person as a lunatic with unfocused eyes, and it oh says God. what he took to make his eyes that way. While we admire the message of this drawing, we do wish it had been done in the best what the fuck? Way. The doorman and the pencil man. It takes a lot of guts to let your partner look at the drawings you did when you were a kid. And it also takes a lot of nerve to stay with your partner if they showed you drawings like these. A woman called Sam visited her boyfriend's family home and he showed her a collection of drawings he did when he was a child. In them were two villains. The doorman who throws doorknobs at you and you die. And the pencil man who throws out blood and erases you. Remarkably, Sam is still with her boyfriend, no matter how man, creepy man. his youthful artwork was. We have to admit it. We like Sam. Who killed the cat? There is an old saying, curiosity killed the cat, but satisfaction brought it back. 
We don't know if you know that saying, but if you didn't know it, then this next picture will creep the heck out of you. It appears to be some kind of courtroom scene. <laughs> <laughs> all but one of the people <laughs> in the picture <laughs> is wearing a hat <laughs> for some reason. One person, probably the judge, says, Order in the court, someone has killed the cat. Then a seated figure replies, Curiosity killed the cat. What gives this picture that added extra edge? is that there is a very sad looking cat in it. But even so, it's kind of creepy. A boy and a flower. Yeah. With uh -huh. this collection of creepy kids drawings, some of them are clearly a bit disturbing on the first viewing. However, with other ones, it's only after letting things sink in that we start to really feel creeped out. And that is what happened to us when we saw this next picture. As you can see, there's a boy. We think it's a boy anyway, and he's walking in a field of some kind. However, there are two things which ended up making us cringe. The first one is that the boy looks like he is about to step on a flower, and that's made it even worse by the caption, which is the word destroy, destroy everything. Even we think. Um, the um. end of humanity. When we were children, we were rather disturbed about what could happen at the end of the world. It seems like not much else has changed because this picture was from a kid called Marshall, age 7, who foresaw humankind's end. And Marshall saw it in a way which we are more than willing to admit creeped us out a fair bit. And if you take a look at it, you will see that there's a person being shot by a very large animal. And a which reads, the end of humanity. Marshall's mother, Sandra, posted on the internet, but she let us all know what animal it was. It was a giant squirrel. An imaginary friend. A lot of children have imaginary friends. This is a perfectly normal part of growing up. Now when one kid's parents found out that their offspring had an imaginary friend, they asked their offspring to draw a picture of them. And that's where, in this case, things got a bit creepy. We can see the kid's self-portrait, and it's the sort of drawing that any child might end up doing of themselves. However, we aren't too sure about the friend. This imaginary friend doesn't have two arms, like most people have. They have got 11 arms, but that isn't the worst thing. The friend looks as if their head is falling off. Oh God. Star Wars. Are you a fan of the Star Wars franchise? We certainly are, as are a lot of people. So when one eight-year-old girl wanted to make a card for one of her parents, she took Star Wars as an inspiration. However, we aren't sure whether she could have chosen a more appropriate part of the Star Wars story for her birthday card. You see, the picture in question features Darth Vader standing next to an Imperial Stormtrooper as they shoot someone. However, the girl was quite keen to point out that that wasn't what they wished for the Not parent. You. Rather thoughtfully, they wrote, Not you, next to the person being shot, which is nice, we think. Watching you. Sometimes a picture can be a bit unnerving, but what a kid has written next to it really ups the creep factor. We think that that is particularly true of this next drawing. There's something a bit odd about this picture of an eye. Maybe it's because we all have a fear of being watched. Well, what adds to this is that the child who drew it has written a caption. The caption says, I'm watching you. It's hard to describe why it's so creepy, but there's a certain dark perfection to the combination of words and picture that really freaks us out. The fact that the eye is red really doesn't help things either. A hill, a president, and an artist. Artists get inspiration from their works from many places, but when artist Devin Clark came across a rather disturbing drawing by Pablo Blanco, 8, called Cannibalistic Hill. He knew he finished. had to turn it into a piece of art. So Pablo's so drawing is so put in spot in a variety of unpleasant ways. So Interestingly so enough, so one so of their so victims so is former American President George W. Bush. Anyway, Devin was so impressed by no, Pablo's so so drawing so that he used so his skill so to recreate it in a whole new way. Devin said he could never come up with something as bizarre and disturbing on his own. But we wondered, what art from your childhood would you like to see recreated? Let us know in the comments. Da, uh, inițial mă așteptam la ceva mult mai creepy. Uh, dar a fost cumva cringe, cum o la început, dar și funny. Uh, cum am zis și la început, uh, copiii au mari imaginații, depinde de fiecare cum gândește. Depinde de ce citește, ce vede, la cine vede, depinde cum percep copiii toate aceste chestii. Eu dacă zic copilului meu anumite chestii despre, nu știu, canibali sau alte rahaturi de genul, el le poate interpreta în sensul lui și le desenează așa cum și le imaginează și cum înțelege. Noi o să mai facem reacții la clipuri de genul, 
dar mai târziu, nu știu momentan când. Sper că v-a plăcut și cam atât cu acest episod. A fost scripe pentru că mi s-au oprit camera și nu a mai pornit ca de obicei, cum se întâmpla la fiecare 11 minute. Deci foarte hu. Yep. Ne vedem data viitoare. Aveți grijă de voi!